I love this little Firefly camera. It's very capable, has image stabilization, and works well either mounted uh, on my plane for recording video from the aircraft or as a hat cam for re recording the aircraft flight from the ground. One minor criticism is that obviously it has a wide angle lens. As it has high resolution, you can use software to zoom in on the image. It would be nice to be able to change the lens for perhaps something like this. Telephoto or zoom type lens is available for CCTV type cameras and has a standard mounting. Uh, technically, this is called an S-mount, I believe, and commonly referred to as an M12, as it's a threaded M12 size. Would we perhaps be able to fit that to this camera? There's only one way to find out, and that's to take a look inside it. I noticed that this surround for the lens appears to come off. Let's take a look in there. But first, importantly, as with working on anything, remove the battery. Just using an old, very blunt Stanley knife blade. This often gets me in places where others fear to go. So that just pops straight off and we can see the, the lens there. But it, it doesn't look like it's going to unscrew easily. I'd prefer to take a closer look at it. I suspect that it has a, a lot of glue around the threads. Before I go any further, I'm just going to mark on the body here and on the lens a little reference mark so that when I reassemble it, I know that the lens is in the right place for, for focus. It looks like there's a, a seam along the top here. Just clicking it apart carefully and not being too aggressive as often there are little ribbon cables or other delicate things very close to the edge inside. Sometimes the Mark I fingernail is the best option. There are these little plastic tabs which uh, with a little bit of force will release. And there's the rest of the front cover. On the edge of the lens there you can better see some of the, I guess, hot melt or similar type glue. I'm going to scrape away at that and see if I can loosen the lens. I've managed to remove some of this glue. I don't know what this devil's brew is. It's somewhere between an epoxy and hot melt glue. One thing is for sure, it did not want to come off. I had to put a new scalpel blade on my scalpel and uh, have a good old dig at it. As you can see here, once you kind of get it going, you can pull it off. But, uh, it's a very dodgy maneuver being so close to these tiny components on the circuit board. One slip and you're done for. But at last, it can be unscrewed. Probably a good idea to clear this blob of glue off of here once it's removed from the camera. There we go. We don't want to leave this exposed for very long for fear of getting dust on the sensor at the bottom there. See if the new lens will at least fit in there. Carefully starting the threads. Yes, that's going in nicely. It's just beginning to, to bind up there. I need to be able to get to the controls, one for the focus and one for the zoom amount. I should have explained earlier that this is a 9 to 22 millimeter lens, uh, 1 to 1.4. So the big question is, is it going to work? I guess there's only one way to find out. First we're using the standard lens and I've put on my FPV setup so that I can check the shot and more importantly the, the focus. So we now have some representative footage from the camera with the standard lens. Let's swap it over for the other lens. So here we are first with the lens at its least zoom, shall we say. Now let's move that in some. We need obviously to refocus. 
Just move the camera up a tad. I think that focusing is one of the, the challenges with this setup. We go again to about halfway and refocus. That's probably where I would be to start off with trying to film the aircraft. It's going to be uh, a process of trial and error. Probably more error. Overall then, a successful modification with the beauty that you can always put the standard lens back. Don't forget to mark the, the body and the lens. That makes that job a lot easier. Focusing is a little bit of a challenge as you saw. Definitely need to either hook this up to Wi-Fi, but even your phone screen is it's difficult to see in the sun. Trial and error is, is the way, and I would again put some markings at the various settings that you find work for you. Clearly, doing this modification is not for the faint-hearted and will definitely void your warranty, but it will be a very useful addition to your photographic box of tricks.